The TED Talk that I've chosen to discuss is by Amy Purity called Living Beyond Your Limits. The thesis for her talk was talking about overcoming obstacles that come in and out of your life to go on to pursue any dreams or desires that you want to achieve no matter what happens. The way that she captured the audience's attention was by making the audience think about their life as a book and they're the author and making them think about were they happy with the way the book was being written or if they really needed or felt like they needed to change anything about the story they were writing for themselves. She maintained the audience attention by telling a hard and compelling story about what she went through when she contracted a bacterial infection which caused her to spend some time in the hospital and lose the lower part of her legs below the knee which was very a heartfelt and compelling story that she also used humor to break up the seriousness and the hard emotion that she felt while telling this story, which I felt was a good way to also kept them engaged and not make them feel so uncomfortable about what she was talking about. I think the Ted commandment that she used to discuss this topic would be the second commandment, which is, Thou shalt dream a great dream, or show forth a wondrous new thing, which I feel is pretty much the embodiment of what she is talking about. Her whole talk and discussion is about dreams, of course. Those, op those dreams that you want to pursue, but dealing with those obstacles and overcoming those obstacles, which for a lot of people is very hard to do. And she proved that she's given a very difficult and tough obstacle to overcome and she overcame it. So that's why I feel that the second commandment is the perfect commandment to describe this discussion. As far as the tips from the Gare Reynolds and Nancy DeWitt, I feel that she showed great passion for what she was talking about from the emotion that she showed from the tears that she showed, and also through the humor that she used to break up some of that seriousness and tension throughout her talk. I also feel that she had a very strong start by making you think about your life as your own personal book or story that you're writing and what you'd want to do to change it or if you were happy with how it was being written, which is something that I feel really hooks the audience in keeps their attention but also really and truly makes them think about their life and also realizing that if she could overcome what she can overcame then you should be able to overcome any obstacle in your own life if she could overcome losing both of her legs and go on to become a pro snowboarder which I think is really cool and really, really interesting as well. What I will take away from this TED Talk to help me in my own podcast, well, there are several things that I'll take away from this from this talk. First of all, passion. I think with any talk or discussion, if you really want someone to be invested or dedicated in what you're talking about, you have to be passionate about what you're talking about. Secondly, Making sure I have a really strong start in what I'm talking about because it's important to make sure the audience is interested and is hooked in from the very start or else you will completely lose them. And also not to be afraid to invoke humor, to take some of the serious points and make them a lot easier to take in. I think those three things I need to keep in mind when delivering my own podcast.